So you've been involved in an auto accident, you're injured, and you've sent in your PIP application, and they've been paying the medical bills. And all of a sudden, you get a letter from the insurance company that says, hey, we want you to go to a doctor. We want you to do an independent, independent medical examination to determine whether or not, one, you were injured in the accident, two, if you were injured, whether or not the treatment is reasonable and necessary, or three, do you need to continue your treatment? Now, this is a ploy that the insurance company uses lots of times to not pay medical bills under PIP coverage. You're really stuck. If you don't go to the IME, the independent medical examination, they'll cut your medical bills off paying them. If you go to the IME, a doctor of their choosing, they'll do one of two things. One, they'll say that your injury was pre-existing, yes, you were hurt, but that, that most of your problems today are from the past, not involved, were, were not caused by the motor vehicle accident. Or they're going to say you were injury, injured, you had enough treatment, and they're not going to pay any more treatment. Occasionally they will agree that you maybe you'll be able to get six more weeks of treatment. You know, you can't let them get away with that. Because in that situation, if you get a lawyer, the lawyer will the lawyer will send them a letter and tell them to pay those medical bills, even though the IME is adverse against you. Because remember, that doctor's on their side. And then he can get paid attorney's fees for that. So it doesn't cost you anything. He sues the insurance company on your behalf, and he gets paid by the insurance company. So remember, don't let them cut your medical bills off by a phony IME.